Okay, well, I hope that you can hear me now. Let me know if you can hear me now, okay? Okay, fine. So I hope that you all can listen to me now. And I was saying uh, the audio inconvenience is regretted. And what I was saying is that we are going to look at uh, games by the five time former world chess champion Vishwanathan Anand. And whether it is, regardless of whether it is white to play or black to play, it is going to be Anand's win. So I'm going to give you two minutes uh, to, you know, just make sure that you get enough opportunity to think and not just one move the variations as well because this is a lecture for the a batch guys so i want you to calculate the complete variation not just the first move okay i hope you have your notepads ready we are going to have the notepad because and in fact i'm also going to write the position with you so let's dive into the first position by the way welcome to all uh, you couldn't hear me initially but i hope i'm audible now and uh, welcome everybody and I appreciate the players who you know log in and uh, they are with me well before time I appreciate that very nice very good that shows uh, an eager student so dive into the first position this is the position and it is going to be black to play so I am going to pull up the notepad in front of you there we go so this should be your heading and kindly start writing the position uh, with me. It's very important guys. So this position is black to play and uh, The game was played between I'm going to tell you the names of the players as well Ahmed Hamid Was the white player versus of course Vishy Anand and it is black to play of course I've told you that already so in this position you have King h3 Queen c2 Rook a2 start copying it Bishop g2 and you have pawns on h4 g3 e5 d3 and c4 if we come to black's position it's king g8 that's vicious position queen g1 in his territory rook b1 also in white scam knight d1 what a strange location for the knight Pawns h7, g6, f7, e6, and c5. So this is your position and I want you to copy this position. Let me know once you're done copying this. Now this game, let me tell you also the year, I think I have the year, 1984 guys, 1984, this game was played in 1984, please add that detail as well. Okay, so most of you were saying that they are done writing the position. So we will now go back to the board. This is the position. As usual, Jay, be with me. What is the material balance? Both of them have the queen. Okay. A rook and a minor piece. White has got five pawns and so does black. Okay, so materially balanced situation and I'm going to give you two minutes as promised every time. So your 
timer starts, it is black to play. Enjoy the music. Calculate the entire variation. All right, your time is up and there were people waiting for the arrows. There are no arrows today. This is not a multiple choice. I want this lecture is for the A batch students. So there are no arrows. The juniors try to think to the best of your ability and later match your answers with what the seniors are saying. There are going to be no arrows. You have to find out. So what are the seniors saying here? Let's see. Jay is saying Rook A1. Rook takes A1, Knight F2. And uh, well, there are people who are saying Knight E3. Knight E3. Well, that's an interesting uh, solution here. Knight E3 is the solution I have. Okay. And uh, Knight F2 is also another... Um, Answer. Well, Vihang is saying rook k1, rook takes a1, knight f2 check, queen takes f2, and queen takes f2. Black is clearly winning. Well, here is the answer. Okay, you would love this. The answer is quite extraordinary, guys. The answer is rook a1, no doubt. Okay. Rook a1 and after rook a1 clearly you will see that the, the rook cannot move to uh, b2 because of this knight attacking it. So clearly rook takes rook and after that knight f2 check winning the queen because now the king has nowhere to go. And that's why white will have to sacrifice and queen takes f2 and clearly black is winning. So congratulations, Vihang is uh, the first to give the line, but Jay also supported that. Fantastic. All those who thought of that plan, brilliant. Let us, before we write down the solution, let's go back to that position one more time, guys. I want you to learn this. This was the position. So rook a1 was played. Rook takes a1 and then knight f2 check. The king cannot go anywhere. So queen takes f2 and then after black plays queen takes f2. Black is clearly winning. Hope you enjoyed that and uh, we will now get it in writing. So let me pull up the notepad. There you go. Let's write that down guys. So the first move is rook a1. Then rook takes a1 by white. 
knight f2 check white will have to take it queen takes f2 and black will also play queen takes f2 and it will be 0 dash 1 kindly write it down and let me know when you are done writing it Wonderful. Okay, so Shitij is here. Shitij, you're late today. So Nijapkar is saying he's done. Sanchit is saying he's done. Mostly all of you are saying that you are done writing it. Okay, so let's proceed to the next one then. So this one is going to be black to play yet again and this one it, let's jot down in the note pair let us go ahead and write down the details about this one so i am going to delete the unnecessary parts Let's start with the year. This one is from the year 1986. It is black to play. And let's start writing the, the names of the players. Black is Vishwanathan Anand and white is Xavier Kapape. Okay. So very important you make a note of such details and uh, you will know a lot of names today the position is king g1 queen d1 rook d2 bishop a3 Connected pawns h2, g2, f2, e4, b3, a2. Now for black, that's Rishi's position, king g8. Some people already write down king g8. Serves them well. Queen e7 here, rook d8. Knight e5. Even pawn connected pawns for Vichy, so h7, g7, f7 there, and then c5, b5, and a6. c5, b5, and a6. So kindly let me know once you are done jotting it down. They are done, so let's go to the board and start your countdown. Enjoy the music.
All right, the time is up and let us see what we have. So the, the answers are with knight f3 check. Some people are not typing it correctly. Knight f3 is check. And uh, by the way, some people have joined us late. Why are you late? How can one be late for an online class? Only God knows. Anyway, uh, it's okay. Now the thing is most of you have played knight f3 or rather thought of knight f3 check and that is the right answer. However, let me show you uh, the, the continuation. What happened in the game was knight f3 check and then there are two lines. Well, of course, the first line is after queen takes f3. Let me see if uh, everybody considered that line. Did everybody consider this line? Queen takes f3. Did anybody? Yeah, rook takes d2 was considered. Okay, so fantastic. So Kshitij missed that, although he typed in a rush. So Omitra was the first to consider this line. If queen takes f3, then obviously rook takes d2. We will be a plain and simple exchange up here. There's nothing much for white to do. And of course, in this situation, if the pawn takes the knight, that is if uh, g takes f3, then you have queen g5 check unleashing a fork. And now this rook is attacked two times and defended only once. So after this, king h1, king f1 doesn't make a big difference. And rook takes d2, mind you, is better than queen takes d2. I repeat, rook takes d2 is better than queen takes d2. So we are going to write down both the variations. In the first one, we saw uh, queen. if queen takes, then rook takes d2. And if pawn takes, then queen g5 check, king h1, rook takes d2. So let us uh, pull the notepad and start writing it down. So the first move was definitely knight f3 check. White's response, queen takes f3, then rook takes d2. And in the second variation, if after the first move you have knight f3 check, and if let's say g takes f3, then you have queen g5 check. And then after king h1, you have rook takes d2, which is 0 1. So please jot down and let me know when you are done writing it. Kindly let me know when you are done writing it, guys. Wonderful. So can we proceed to the next? I guess it's right time for us to proceed since most of our friends are saying that they are done. Okay, so before we go to the next one, uh, let's write down in a notepad. I always like that. This will again be black to play position. So I will get rid of this, get rid of the unnecessary details. You also should note the year first. This one, the game that we are talking about is 1986. So the year will remain the same indeed. And it is black to play. So Vishy Anand still is in as a black player. The player with the black pieces. And Plinio Gambarotti is white. Remember the names. Okay. Plinio. Gambarotti. Now I could. It's actually A. I beg your pardon. Uh, your homework could be to find out their nationality, guys. You could easily do that. You should do that, okay? So, king f4 for white. 
and uh, queen d5 or queen on d5 let's say rook is on a1 in the black camp then there is there are pawns h4 f3 d4 and b2 for black that is vichy's position you guessed it right king g8 rook e2 pawns a couple of pawns only f7 and g6 so j what is the position Oh, there is queen. Beg your pardon. Vishy has the queen on queen on g2. Not so imbalanced. Vishy is not queen down. Queen on g2, guys. Okay, so we are done with this. Kindly let me know once you are done writing. Okay, did you add the queen guys? There was a queen on g2 as well. Okay, so let me now pull up the position in front of you. This is the position. And in fact, I'm going to start the timing immediately. Black to play again. Enjoy the music. Okay, the time is up and unfortunately, well, 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 unfortunately, I did not get the answer. Okay, uh, Vihang probably was the one to share one uh, of the possible lines, but uh, he has not typed it correctly. So one should be one dot 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 because it's black to play. So he has got a mate. Okay. And uh, the correct answer, let's see if uh, Chitich did share the answer. Uh, in this case, no, I don't think so, he did. Okay, then, so we have answers by Jai and Vihang only this time. All right, so the correct answer is made in four. Made in four, so Jai and uh, Vihang probably are right. Let me take you to the board to demonstrate what exactly happened. It is made in four guys. So the correct continuation is indeed queen h2 check. 
Wonderful. Now here, if let me show you a quick checkmate. If the king goes to g4, if the king goes to g4, then simply rook g2 is made. So that's just a first variation. Let's finish that quickly. This is checkmate. So it's better for white to continue with king g5. Okay. And um, after king g5, then you have queen g3 check. Then there is king f6 or king h6. Doesn't matter where it is going to be made. Let's say after king h6, there is queen takes h4 check. And after the queen blocks it, just queen takes h5 is checkmate. And if let's say after queen g3 check, there is... Uh, King f6, then there is queen takes h4 check. And notice that there is this rook here. So there is only one move here, queen blocking the check. And now there is interesting checkmate. In fact, there are two checkmate in ones here. Can you spot? There are two checkmate in one moves here. In this position, there are two one move checkmates. Can you find it out? Rook e6 checkmate by j is correct. There is one more checkmate in one move from this position. What uh, along with rook e6, there is one more checkmate in one move. Queen h8. Again, j did it. Wonderful. It's nice and fast. So, yes, queen h8 is also checkmate. Well, there are so many different variations. Let me come on cam to share this. There were so many variations to calculate and the seniors did not calculate them all. They just gave one smooth vihang. You gave me just one line with a mate in four. There are so many possible areas where the king could go. This is a lecture for A batch. So you have to calculate all the variations. Now when I write it down, you will see how much there was to calculate. Even J, just one line is not enough. What about Nijapkar? No line. What about Shitij? No line. So there is a lot to think. Whatever are the options are also to be considered. Then you should share those answers. That's why you have those two minutes. Don't just be all happy considering only one line. I ain't happy with this. So you have to calculate all the possible lines. And Avnish, you are far from one it. You probably should look at all the lines. Look at the variations I showed you. Let, let me go to the board and show you all the variations again. The first move is queen h2 check. Then there, are, there is a variation. If king g if king g4, then there is rook g2 mate. Nobody typed that. If king g5, then there is queen g, g3 check. And now again there are variations. There is king h6. And there is also king h6 and there is also king f6. Both have got different checkmates. If king h6, then there is this checkmate. So there are many things to write, guys. So you have to be careful with this. Anyway, let's pull up the notepad. Next time, seniors, I expect a better performance from you. The first move... is indeed queen h2 check and we will write down the faster variation where after the queen h2 check if king g4 then of course there is rook g2 checkmate nobody typed everything in detail that's what is the sad part queen h2 check all this is what you had to type and now for the second variation, after queen h2 check, what if king g5? King g5, then there is queen g3 check. And now here, if king h6, we will write that line down. If king h6, then queen takes h4 check and queen h5 will be blocking it and queen takes h5 is checkmate and in the next, the final line, queen h2 check 
king g5, queen g3 check. Let me add that check here. Then what happens if king f6? If king f6, then queen takes, still the next move remains the same, queen h4 check, after which queen h4 check and queen has to block it. Is there any other way? No, queen has to block it, right? Yeah, queen to g5, queen g5. And after you block it, there is queen h8 mate that I like better. Or there is rook e6 mate as Jay pointed out. So guys, you had to let me let me set the notepad in a way that all the moves are, become visible. I think now it is visible. You have everything now. So guys. Okay. People are saying that they should then get extra time. If they are going to write this much. This is what you have to write. Seniors. Three minutes. Okay, fine, so Mitra says give us three minutes then, okay, done, I shall from the next position I, I shall give you three minutes. Seniors, I hope you saw that there was so much to write, don't just sit there and relax, this is a lecture for A batch. So do it like the A batch guys should do. Don't just tell me the first move, just one line. There are variations that this will help you take your game to the next level. Next time onwards, I will give you three minutes. But then, but then I want to promise that. Can you see me doing three minutes? Yeah, three minutes. But then I want all the variations. Okay. So let's, I'm okay with that. So let's give you all three minutes of thinking time. I'm completely okay with that. Let me take you back to the notepad because now I will pull up the next position. And this one, this next position is probably the first where you will have white to play. So this will be the first time where you, where it is going to be white to play. So I'm going to definitely cancel all that we don't need here. And we are now going to need white to play. So first move, we are going to jot down white. This is going to be white to play. Start jotting it down with me. Do I know the year for this one? Yes, 1988. And um, you can definitely add that this was played in India. Now here, Vishy Anand is white and his opponent was Sudhakar Babu. You can google this names. Okay. Let's write down the positions. Make a note guys, make a note. Sudhakar Babu. Okay. The position is white to play. It's King h1 for white, that's Vichy's position. Queen g6. There is rook h3. There is rook f1. There is knight d4. Knight b5 as well. h2 connected g2 e4, c3, b3, a4. For black, that is Sudhakar Babu's position. King f8, queen d7, rooks on e8 and d8. 
There is a minor piece, this bishop on g7, and there is a knight on e5. Pawns, if there's a5, right? But there's first f7, there's e7, there is d6, there is b7, and a5. So these are the placement of the pieces. Let me know and as promised I'm going to give you three minutes for this but I want all the uh, variation seniors I want everything that there is in this position Vishy Anand versus Sudhakar Babu, 1988, India. It's going to be for the first time white to play. And win. Are you ready? Most of you are done. So I'm going to start with a countdown. But this time. As uh, decided, it is. you will see three minutes there. So here you go. Enjoy the music. Okay, your time is up and uh, let me come on cam and ask who is Sanjay Choudhury, the ID. First you said Queen F7 checkmate, it's not. Then you are saying Rook H8 checkmate, it's not. Bishop will take, right? I didn't give three minutes for this. Sanchit, that's all you can think. 
let me show you okay let me take you to the board and then demonstrate let's first see the entries that i have received uh, there have been a few but uh, let me go ahead and discuss this in detail well if you play knight e6 yes yes white is winning no doubt about that so sanchit i am not saying let me come on cam so sanchit after knight e6 yes we are winning the queen and if not the queen then there is checkmate correct but that's why i gave you 3 minutes that's why vishy anand is vishy anand knight e6 check will win after many moves because you get the queen but immediately from the position that you have there is mate in 5 mate in 5 now that's why i gave you 3 minutes i accepted your uh, request so saumitra did i get the answer from you let's find out what saumitra said no no saumitra was keen on just saying 96 check king goes to g8 and it is okay but saumitra he will give the queen away and then there is no mate but from the position i gave you i repeat that it is mate in five moves and let me show that to you and i'm sure you will enjoy this and by the way those who are typing mates so just make sure that it is mate don't just go ahead and type just see if it is checkmate or not otherwise the a batch guys will be keen to know look what you're typing you know what So that's not the answer, Saumitra. What do you mean? I wrote that, Saumitra. Wrong answer. No, it is mate in five moves, and you didn't write that. You wrote knight e six check, king g eight, and queen takes g seven mate. I don't want that. That is not the answer. Here is the answer. Okay. So let's enjoy this. The correct answer is Vihang. I Vihang is saying I gave the mate in five. So Vihang gave a mate in five. Why? Well, yes, he did say the correct move. Rook takes f7 check. Knight takes f7. Rook h7, and that is the best best thing to do here. And Vishy Anand did exactly that. So let me go ahead and do it for you. The correct move here is Rook takes f7 check. Now the thing is, after this. If the king goes to g8, then queen takes g7 is mate. So that is just not fair. Knight takes f7. Well, looks like that is okay, but still you have rook at seven. The threat is queen takes g7 checkmate. The only way to stop it or make some sense is just to sacrifice the queen. But you know what? You don't have to take the queen. It is here that you play knight e6. Then king g8 is forced, and rook takes g7 check. King h8, queen h7 mate. Yes, of course you can take the queen here and uh, then deliver the checkmate. You can also do that, but I like this technique better. So let us take a look at it again. Rook takes f7 check. Knight takes f7. If there is king g8. Again, how many people typed both the lines? How many people? We hung. Let's go back to what you typed. Did you type both the lines? No, you typed one line. You didn't. You didn't type both the lines. So I wanted seniors to type both the lines. You gave us mate in five, but you didn't consider this. So go ahead and always consider both. If king g8, then queen takes g7 is mate. Let us go ahead. Pull up the notepad. And write down. I've pulled up the notepad. So here it is. Rook takes f7 check. If king g8, then you simply have queen takes g7 checkmate. Is it not? So the second variation. After the first move, rook takes f7 check. You have knight takes f7, and if you go ahead and do that, then there is rook h7. The only way to stop that and make some sense is to play queen g4, 
and after queen g4 you have knight e6 check yeah knight e6 check is better after knight e6 check there is uh, i don't think black has a choice there queen takes e6 is choice yeah queen takes e6 is choice but then queen takes g7 is made anyway so better yeah i'll type that nonetheless queen takes e6 then there is queen takes g7 checkmate and in the next line you have rook takes f7 check knight takes f7 if there is rook h7 after that and the way to stop it is queen g4 in that case there is knight e6 check after that if you play king g8 then in that case there is rook takes g7 check then there is king h8 and there is there finally is queen h7 mate there is one more variation you see how many variations we have if you want to stop the mate after um, rook h7 there is another way black could play e6 here but e6 creates a square for rook takes the king rook takes f7 check knight takes f7 rook h7 and instead of this queen now you have e6 so after you play e6 then there is queen takes g7 check queen takes g7 check to which there is king e7 and then there is queen takes f7 checkmate all lead to 1 dash 0 let me resize this yeah now you have everything okay so please write down all the variations who typed all of this nobody The grandmasters, guys, they analyze and analyze and analyze and then they get, you know, something. So you have to remember there were four things to type. It's very important. Four important points to type here. Imagine the solution. Yes, there were guys who typed in one line or so but anyway okay next position guys for the next position we have again Anand is white and uh, we will write down the year this one was played in 1990 and this was played and uh, the place is not known that's it so you can write down 1990 Vichy is white it is white to play let's write down Vichy's position white's position King G1 some people just always keep that ready King G1 Then you have Queen E6, 
h6, d5, c7. That's it for white. For black then, king, if you said g8, you're wrong this time. King h8, rook f8, rook e8 as well. So two rooks for queen. And there is bishop on c4. And now for the pawns, there is h7, there is g5, there is f6, there is b6. So please jot it down. Let me know once you are done. Names of the players is what I will type. Vishy Anand is white and the black player is Ivan Fernandez. Okay, so now you have all the details. Kindly jot down the details and again I will say people are saying they are done, they are done, they are done. <laughs> but I want a complete analysis. That's what I considered three minutes for. I don't want a half analysis of the thing that you, you know, feel that is correct. Okay, guys, I have agreed that I'll give you three minutes, but I want a complete analysis. I don't want you to just tell me what you think is the right move. No. Give me a complete analysis and bother to type everything in those three minutes as much as you can. And by the way, don't just type mate in one move. It is not mate in one move. So don't make a fool out of yourself. It is not mate in one. Okay. So please go ahead and uh, do it. Here is your position with the timer of three minutes. Enjoy the music.
okay now the thing is do i give you additional time let me know in the chat because it was buffering so should i give you more time or are you ready let me know nijabkar has shared one line and that too nijabkar is careless enough to type without any move numbers he just goes on and types things who types move numbers so nijabkar doesn't do that so i don't know please go ahead and type correctly very important a batch Nijabkar says that it is made in four moves. Well, we'll make this uh, last position because there seems it, it seems like there is only a minute. Take this position as homework. Okay, take this position as homework. We will stop for now. We will do this the next time. 